All right, everyone, welcome to the first match of Tournament 36 here. We've got ABC on the blue team playing as God of Production, going up against Unique Eclipse on the red team as God of Conquest. Interesting to see how this Conquest will play here. I know there were some power um, shenanigans, um, and we'll see how much uh, how many shenanigans Unique Eclipse can create with that uh, EMP. Oh, it looks like they did add some ships to the planet, so good. Okay, so it was all turrets at one time, but... So I thought it would be a little easier to take everything, but still pretty easy. Yeah, it looks like you have to take a production planet before you can get to your point defense here, but both players rushing to secure that early point defense here. Unique Eclipse, even though there's no production there, uh, gonna, gonna just secure that planet. Not sure if I think that was the best move though. Yeah, of course, these weird. players know this map better than me. And maybe that, it looks like that power is actually instrumental to attacking this torpedo planet, which I expect Unique Eclipse to do right now here we go yeah it looks like it's just a power cut off oh planet. yeah and because they're conquest that's why they're swiping up all those moons as well yeah it looks like you know that uh power drone will arrive here at this little three moon there they go all right steve Riber wants you to know that he says hi <laughs> well hello yeah, it looks like red slightly behind here on ships. ABC had a little bit of a better rollout. Players haven't really clashed yet. Though you need clips clipping away. ABC coming to defend that planet will hold it. ABC leading slightly in territory and ships here. Oh, it's still anyone's game. It's very, very early here. Some, some shots firing from those neutral heavy lasers at ABC, ABC's ships there. I thought they were going to trade heavy lasers for a minute there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, them both having heavy lasers probably benefits blue. Well, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, production's going to be able to use that ability to presumably get some heavy lasers here. Uh, it's weird that they're fighting over these planets, but I guess that's solely for power. Both going after each other's torpedo plants right now. <laughs> Gonna swap swap control here. Maybe see a little behind there. Both conquering them back now. They've uh, re-swapped back to the original configuration <laughs> here. Unique Eclipse has to be careful here. ABC is building a ship lead. And as we get into the mid game here, and as we get into eventually asteroids, it's not a position you want to be. You never want to be down on ships, especially, uh, you know, in the middle of the game here. Yeah, so it looks like ABC has taken the Outer Rings, Outer Ring planets, while Unique Eclipse has ignored it, just taking the moon. So that's man, not a good Man, and choice. ABC building a powerful army Oof. here keeps coming in. Oh, Ooh, red suffering massive losses there as this giant army of ABC moves around here. 42 ships already, and we're three minutes in. Wow. See if they can take these back. They've got to get those outer planets up. They need. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's hard to say, you know, what to do here. Yeah. Unique Eclipse has their ability up. You know, ABC already used already used the production ability. Was debating using it there. That'd have been really slick if they could have used it there as they came in, as ABC came oh. in. Oh, it's probably a little late. ABC trying to run here. Ships powered back on. It's really hard to use that uh, EMP ability against a top level player who's just, you know, can maneuver their fleet so quickly away from any sort of danger. Yeah, asteroids up. They're both, yeah. Each, each one can get asteroid fairly easily. Power range is good. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it looks like ABC has the power required to come in here and try to take both asteroids. Unique Eclipse definitely doesn't have the power to go all the way over to the blue blue side and try to get that one. So it's going to be a real scramble here. Uh, you know, Unique Eclipse really needs to secure power and make sure that ABC cannot disrupt that mining. Because another thing that will happen is if your opponent 
disrupts your mining of your asteroid well, you aren't able to disrupt their mining, they're going to get the reward way sooner than yours, and then they can leverage those battleships to use against you and snowball and to take your asteroid. But it looks like Unique Eclipse has successfully fended off ABC here. Oh, at the last second, coming yeah. in here as that power oh, reaches oh, the he asteroid. Left early. <laughs> oh, he's early. he left early. Oh, he knew that was he a mistake. snagged the asteroid at the last second, sending that uh, valuable resources back to the home planet here. It's Will it be, be enough tight, to get though. Unique Eclipse back into the game? I don't know, but it's certainly uh, what they needed. ABC's ability is up. They can use that at any time. Collect more ships yeah they still haven't Unique locked Eclipse down the sending, sending blues power sending their them back oh lost power down there abc retreating has, has power here yeah these power lines are very tight they're gonna he's gonna have emp to almost up again oh. more territory loss here Unique eclipse oh needs to hold running away from this massive army that's coming in here oh zero planet They might be able to. Oh man, I don't know. Using a well placed EMP is about the only chance that they can do to get a comeback here. Yeah, needs a big swing here. Ooh, power's or, cut. Uh, Unique Eclipse can't produce at fleet capacity. Needs a planet here. Just any planet. Not that one. <laughs> There's so many little, but oh, there's only two planets Red can reach right now. It's yeah, nice. so as you're powers. saying, power is tough. It, yeah. it can be hard to cut. Co like comebacks are aren't hard as are, comebacks are very hard when there's limited power, and it looks like there's only two planets. It's that one and yeah. then the one. Oh, here we go. Wait, the EMP could be huge here for the sun. Throw... Yeah. If you throw it on the sun and then go in, like, what are they gonna do? They're paying attention. This is a big Are chance. Side eyeing that sun. Come on. Yeah. Are we gonna get a crazy EMP play on the sun here? They've got power. All right. Now's the time. Oh no! Well, they're gonna EMP use used it elsewhere. Elsewhere. Oh. oh. 100 ships camping that sun. <laughs> That's power not good. And now here come all these battleships, right to the red home here. Nothing you can really do against 76. Powered up shifts with that uh, <laughs> concentration. Not sure, you know, doesn't want the sun buff to expire, I guess, and leave stranded with no power. Yeah. But it looks like <laughs> ABC's giant bug army will devastate Unique Eclipse on the red team here. And ABC will be moving on to the semifinals. Good match. Yeah. We'll be right back with the next of our quarterfinals matches. Yeah, it's it's been a bit. I know yeah. I know Volatility had a weird a weird streak. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Alright, alright. Alright, let's see. What crown is this one? Yeah, sorry, I, I forgot the introduction to that. We've got King Ben <laughs> as God of Conquest on the blue team going up against Sanya as Volatility on the red team. Interesting. Uh, I'm curious to see how this, how Sanya will utilize Volatility to their their advantage here. I mean, Sanya always good with, uh, you know, large ship battles, I feel like. And, uh, yeah. Excels in the mid to late game. And Volatility is is pretty good match for that. Or at least, like, making that element stronger due to the explosions on kill. What the? What's going on with King Noob here? King Noob is... Are there sh ships stuck on there? What? What is going on here? King Noob is noobing. I am sure not sure. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. Well... <laughs> This is not good, whatever it is. I, I wonder if we I don't know. The there. ship count is doing fine. Maybe they're just building an army, you know? Yeah, I, I think this is just noob gameplay. Yeah. You know? Right. And clearly you don't understand. No, look, look, yeah, look at that. I guess it's just you don't need to 
I don't know, but yeah, not having the okay. potential ship cap seems questionable. Maybe you're just waiting for your opponent to come to They've you. They've got no power there, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, all right. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not exactly yeah, sure what to say. I, I can't tell if something's wrong or this is just a new strategy. strategy. Yeah. Fair enough. Could, People yeah, are saying okay. the planets are bugged, but I feel like nothing is necessarily behaving unexpectedly. It's just strange. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping you bringing out the unconventional strategies, we. Uh... We love to see it. <laughs> All right, what's weird is uh, nobody took a heavy laser last time. I wonder if that's going to yeah, be Yeah, they're consistent. pretty tough nuts to crack, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, 20, 20 is no joke, especially with heavy laser. If they get some shots off at you, you know, it's uh, pretty dangerous. Maybe you was waiting around to build ships to contest this. I'm not exactly oh. sure. I'm definitely struggling on, on territory here for the blue team. You know, not having... Uh, currently capped on production here. I'm not sure what's going on here with them. Hmm. But they are ahead on ships? <laughs> you know, <laughs> say what you will, but... Um, you know, King Noob is controlling yeah. is controlling this planet here, and Sanya is just kind of throwing their whole army trying to take it. And you know, it's not necessarily working here. Out, oh, and it's not necessarily working out in Sanya's favor. Yeah, it's a really odd choice for Sanya. Yeah, now, I think, yep, uh, King Noob is expanding, taking other planets. King Noob needs to take that zero moon there. Yeah. Well, Sandy, Maybe moving it went in through the finally. asteroid belt? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a neutral First zero moon. But oh, Sandy is taking a beating here. I, I think it's just been really aggressively using these ships here on, on offense when maybe, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the most positive trades. I thought that we... I moved this asteroid belt. Did somebody move it back? Uh, yeah, we refer to the map from some of your changes. Uh, that's changes why. Were too controversial, man. Well, this is not controversial that it's just going to chew through. <laughs> yeah, that's that just moon. how it is, man. <laughs> but okay. Player made maps. I guess they make them how they want. Yeah. Stanya now securing the heavy laser plant here. Yeah, but look at that ship count. It's just gone yeah. nowhere. No, yeah. King Noob has been slowly building a pretty large army. Uh, the, the said army in question is actually flying into the void right now. But, or maybe, oh, it looks like I think maybe the planet positional desync. Yeah, uh, someone said in Discord there might be a desync. Yeah. So, we'll uh, see if anything. Oh. Oh, all right. Here we go. Oh. No. Ah, oh. That's a counter. <laughs> Ability, the ability. King Noob, not afraid. Yeah, but, honestly, that was that was valid counterplay there. Yeah, but Sanya's yeah. kind of coming back here. Sanya's King Noob. The one issue is like they've had a lot of ships, but they've also not had a lot of planets. So their yeah. uh, you know production's been a little stifled, uh, and Sanya has just uh, had unbounded capacity for a long time here. So even though Sanya was losing a lot of ships, uh, kind of in some questionable uh, battles, you know, they're still uh, very much in this game and, and controlling, you know, about half the map here. Yeah, that's where it, it, you gotta you gotta press Sandia early in the early, in the early game. That's how you beat Sandia. Later, you let them play; the worse your odds are. Yeah, no, and that, that that's definitely scary. Mm -hmm. Because now, look, they're starting to come back. They're yeah, what are these zero going? planets, oh. though? You got another one? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Is that chewing through the asteroid belt, maybe? But nobody seems to care. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, someone was saying it. King Noob doesn't have power to point defense, but I'm not sure. Let's see, they have they have to have power to it. They own it. Yeah. Or are they talking about the other point defense? Which yeah, the they're, I defense? mean, they're gonna have to take some other planets. They don't have anything on that side. They only have this one. I'm not sure. So King Noob's power range looks right, but they adjusted her back, so it's pretty tight. But. I mean, yeah, now Sanya, I mean, Sa oh, Sanya taking some losses there, though. So we're going to get graced with a radio ship. But the King Noob needs some planets here. And take that planet retreat here still is that fleet capacity needs a planet to start expanding the production sanya is just able to freely produce here and expand their army not good for blue team yeah i don't know if king noob has a plan to counter this here like take these moons for one take that asteroid above you for two oh, the asteroid yeah like there you go come on almost there nope All right, at least Oops. take the planet. That's good. But take... Nope. Okay. I think... I'm pretty sure they're uh, time desync still because they... Just... Uh, I saw them, you know, try to wormhole through the asteroid and maybe... Yeah. Something something fishy is going on. Uh... Yeah. I mean, they could... Yeah. Mm. Just always... Oh, well, I think we have to finish the match for now. But... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, you can always, if this ever happens to you, you can always fix it by just uh, reconnecting. I believe. Yeah, but it looks like Sanya here is just going to be able to build up a massive army here and uh, come in for King Noob's home planet here. Oh, who knows? Some ships being lost to the belt there. What is Sanya doing? Why? Oh, okay. Sanya yeah, just going for the safe approach. Yeah. Going up for the sun here. Nice. That was a perfect leap. Oh, no, it wasn't. Never mind. Looks like, <laughs> yeah, the sun's ticking down here. <laughs> Instant attack, which I like <laughs> to see. No messing around. Although, yep, I was just going to say, we could oh, EMP. The EMP coming in. <laughs> Chewing through some of those red trips, ships yeah. there. Just camping on uh, King Noob's whole planet here. But they're coming back in here. Those buffed ships. I would wait for the buff to expire here. Little, oh, but too little, taking too late, some though. losses there. Yeah. Buff ship, ships getting some shots off. I always like this radio ship slow. I, I can barely hear it. I think it's the getification. And that will do it. Sanya will be moving on to the semifinals. All right, we've got Aiden on the blue team going as God of Production up against Nikonope on the red team playing as God of Volatility. 
interesting to see some volatility representation um you know as we saw none in the last tournament we've already seen two different players pick volatility in this one yeah i like it any any theories for uh why that's different no um <laughs> Yeah, first I was going to say the heavy lasers, but I don't think those have really been a factor. Um, yeah. It could be that point defense is weaker if there's uh, less production on it than maybe having more explosive power be more useful. Um, but there could be something to say, be said about like the that maybe due to the power of the certain planets on the home base and stuff, like having like it just not favors large army fights a lot. I, I'm not sure. If anyone has uh, knows why in chat, uh, please let us know. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe yeah, it's just also people because decide they like volatility and they want to play it. I don't know. The point defense has two. Yeah, it could just be as easy as that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of point defense production though, so maybe it is that. I don't know. Maybe a little easier to take heavy lasers with the extra missiles. I don't know. Aiden rushing back to defend here. Players dead even here. Tied for territory and planets. Kind of a standoff. Little, little dance here. Aiden's got very like bug like movement. I feel like very like juts around. Bug like <laughs> <laughs> movement. Sickness for the crowd. Yes. <laughs> Well, the funny part is uh, Nick and Ope is playing Cygnus and Aiden's playing Crux. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I saw some reviews the other day where people were using the reviews to uh, advertise for their factions. Oh, that's so, funny. <laughs> Join the colonists. I like oh. it. Oh. Pat, Nick and Ope, a swipe coming in. Aiden's struggling to defend both these. I always like it when the battles are close quarters and you can kind of see them both at the same yeah. time. Yeah, and they're not bouncing These moves. the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh, all right. All right. Nick Renop getting oh. in here. Now has power. Oh, nice. Using that production ability but... very quickly. Nick Nope. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> see whether they're going to use Missile Nam or no. I think you want a larger army in a big battle. Yeah. To say. I don't know. Yeah, holding it though. I just I hate holding it where the other person laps you on their ability. That yeah, definitely doesn't feel good. Oh, we're gonna get a little dance between these two planets. Aiden has a scary army though. Nick and Ope knows it here. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't like going into those heavy lasers. Darting back to those planets. Nicking up jamming out some proper proper tunes. I think those are the overboard tunes. I know <laughs> it when I hear it. <laughs> mm. Oh, leaving it with one here. Suffering some losses, Ooh, too. Coming up to take that heavy laser. Oh, man. Nick and Ope suffering massive losses at that fight. In a very mm. precarious position now. Those dang heavy lasers are so powerful. The first asteroids have appeared. Oh, asteroids are out. All right. Can Nick and Ope get that asteroid? That's my, my question here. Looks like Aiden's far away from having power there. But could get there in, in a, you know, one or two planets. Yeah, they're not really pushing out the center ring though, so I'm not sure if they're going to. Yeah. They haven't even started mining their own asteroid. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, imagine Nick and Ope snuck that. Yeah. Aiden's not paying attention to the asteroids, so maybe Nick Nope can swipe this one and. I mean, Possibly certainly, certainly that one's, it's almost done being mined and blue hasn't even started mining theirs yet. No, you this... know, Nick and Ope might be able to take this window of time of having the battleships to actually swing the fight a little bit. Yeah, needs to get those back. from home though. Go back home and get your battleships. There you nice. Go. 
very quick to it, and that seeds. probably just reminded yes. Aiden. They're like, "Oh crap, I gotta start mining an extra." So there's a time window here for about 20 to 30 seconds where Nikono actually has a lead here in terms of the fleet until that blue asteroid gets mined. Can, what can Nikono do with this? Let's see here. Aiden got another one of the. Uh, more, needs uh, to needs to kill some blue ships here. Oh, but Eden winning these fights. I don't think Nick no can get over to that asteroid in time. So that's yep, and now it goes to blue. And that swings it, power back in blue's favor. Though actually, now it's tied. Yeah, but uh, they've had so blue's, many you know, blue's ahead here, yeah. but. Uh, Nick Nope is not out of this. That delay on the blue asteroid was it was a big deal. And now, I mean, as Nick Nope gains size here in the army, this this explosion's ability, uh, passive ability for volatility, becomes more and more relevant here. Oh, I'm gonna take. Yeah, Nick Nope nice. is is on the comeback arc here. Oh, but it's gonna take some more losses. No, Aiden just comes in and just wrecks the red as they're leaving. Ooh, out of power. I gotta be oh, careful. Oh, no power. Needs to be careful. I like that. Swiping the other planets. Oh. Oh, missile mayhem active. What advantage are they using yeah. it on? You could take the sun easily with Missile Mayhem, that's one thing. Yeah. I feel like it's true, but definitely not, probably not a good thing to do, necessarily. Oh, another asteroid! This time, Blue gets their asteroid first, and they're already in a very much leading spot. Will Nick and be able to mine their asteroid fast enough for it to matter here? Come on. They need that asteroid as soon as possible here. Blue's out of power. Oh. Red, Red's getting their asteroid delivered. They gotta go pick up those ships. Blue's power is looking terrible right now. That's true. Aiden is like at a uh, suffering now. Aiden's actually behind. Yeah, they got their power cut. They're behind. They gotta. They have to come out from that torpedo. Yeah. No, the, I feel like this map. You can, if you're not careful, like, if you get sent back, pushed back too hard, it's really hard to like regain power control yeah. because there's not that many entry points into like this sort of middle network so uh, it's risky all right they're starting to gain their power back but that was that was tight yeah yeah has some yeah. overhead to produce some ships But yeah, these volatility fleets, when they get big, they get super scary. Yeah. I feel like Nick Nope has elements yeah, of Yeah, he's pushing that. Where it's like late, mid to late <laughs> game player, you know? Yeah, Aiden was super strong in the early game, but yeah. Nick Nope is coming back hard in this, uh, you know, as we move into the late game here. We're at eight, eight, nine minutes in. At 15 minutes, the map will collapse, of course, but. Uh, yeah, we've got at least decent ways from there. This may go to collapse here. This is oh, ugh. oh man, that, that was horrible Aiden losses. Suffering there, losing some ships. Really trying to break back in and get some power. Two asteroids mined. I think they're both going to Nikki. Yes, both asteroids oh. to red here. And now Nikonope is very much in the lead here. Aiden on the back foot, fighting for his life, trying to secure power, trying to just break out so of the bad. home base. They're pushed the back so far. Look at Blue's power. Yeah, no, look at how little power the home base provides here. Yeah. Look on the minimap. It's like you they have one planet that they can attack right now. That's what's rough about this map is is the power here. If you get pushed back to your home base, you lose like foothold for all the asteroids and everything. Yeah, so but power really is super important. Oof. You need to have, be controlling a planet on the, like you can't like as soon as you lose the middle, you lose like everything. Yeah, honestly, Nick could sit right here at this point defense, and Aiden will throw yeah. all the ships at them, and he'll just chew them all up. And that's it. Yeah. There's nothing else they can do. 
Yeah, but Nick might get sloppy Nick's, here. Yeah, they're getting you know? a little... Like, Aiden maybe they don't realize shit. the power? I don't know. I mean, you can't see your opponent's power like we can here. Yeah. Uh, and, we're not, and they're also, <laughs> you know, very much more in the heat of the battle than, than we are here. Very true, um, very true. Sort of speculating, but... Oh, did, was Aiden able to grab this planet? Oh, an asteroid spawned in their power range. This is actually Oh, big. that's so lucky for them. Uh, but that being said, Nick has so many ships they can just camp that asteroid yeah. here. It might be a, too little too late, I'm afraid, here. And then as soon as I that... I like the asteroid goes, gods trying to help you out, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As soon as this planet goes, I suspect... Yeah. <laughs> now, if they push this third team planet then they Aiden's pretty much done power wise Nico lagging question mark oh yep oh no oh that's some kind uh -oh. of issues but I mean but I don't think it's gonna matter here, honestly yeah it, like yeah. I think the ship's they, gonna they hold already this, kind of won just, and yeah. closed out the game so yep they're back Nick don't you worry your ships are right where you left them <laughs> But don't send them off. Lost some battleships, though. I, yeah. They were better when Nick wasn't here playing. Yeah. Not now there's just some <laughs> unpowered battleships about to hit the asteroid belt. Oh, they Dude. threw take them through the belt too. Oh god, that belt. Oh Dude. man, what? Nick needs to get, get a grip power? here. Yeah, slow down, slow down. Lost a ton of ships. Yeah, yeah. All you have to do is take that, yep, point defense, start back over. You don't even need to get fancy. You could probably just sit there. Yeah, he didn't take an opportunity to try to push in here. Oh, yeah. So many red ships, though. There's the power. Come up. Leaving. Or Why are they coming? Yeah, honestly, just take that, then take that 15. Oh, does power not reach that? No, it doesn't. There's like no power on this map. No power. Oh, that's. Yeah, sucks. actually, look at this. Really makes... Red team cannot get to the home yeah, base. Yeah, they are <laughs> stuck here. They're going to have Except to take with the... the sun. So... Sun, yep. Okay, well, I guess what you do is camp on the point <laughs> like defense and take the sun. She reminds me of like playing basketball when they're like, <laughs> like going back and forth. <laughs> I do like brutal power maps, so I feel like it really like forces you to like think very tactically. Yeah, that is for sure. All right, Nick Nope has to realize he's gonna have to take the sun any minute here. There you go. I mean, technically, it's about to rotate into power. The yeah, home base. That, oh, it is. Yeah, you can see it is rotating in. That moon. But a lot of not a lot of Aiden can Dang. do here. Yeah, now they yeah. do have power. I don't know if no, they can have power is there. Yep. Yeah. I mean, might as well just wait for the 15 yeah. seconds here. Take, Let's take, not get yeah. too impatient, you know. Get the power up. Get the power. Yeah. Oof. And here we go. Nick and Ope with an absolute comeback down really massively in the early game Locked back in and ultimately won here so it shows you what was po possible if you just you know with volatility and some good late game play i mean if you survive the early game you know you can you can claw back i mean that that asteroid helped the one that was um not mined by aiden for a while led to uh, some balancing you know uh where, where there wouldn't normally have been so that, i think that was aiden was up most of the game yeah just couldn't close it welcome everyone to our first semifinals match we've got abc on the blue team going up against sandia on the red team both playing god of production here so a nice clean mirror here may the best god win abc rushing this point defense 
fast as humanly possible. Gonna secure it. They actually look like they both did it pretty quick. We'll see. Let me go. Yep. Oh, Sanya beat by like 0.1 seconds. Look, they're following the exact same routes. <laughs> it's the best route. They they mirror each other in God. Yep, they look mirror at this. in. <laughs> it's all just a race. Who can micro there? Oh no, ABC's a second behind. Oh, yeah. it might add up for something. Let's we'll see. see. Both gonna go for torpedoes now. No, Sandy grabbing a couple extra moons. Right. Now going for a torpedo. It's just to make a little though. pit stop on the way. Yeah, I mean, Sandy is still ahead, honestly. Uh, but they took it at just the same time here. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's <laughs> identical. But like it looks like Sanya that. actually has an extra production planet here. So has done a good job in the early game. Expanding here. Yeah, these are probably two of the cleanest rollouts we've seen this tournament though. Yeah, I mean they haven't even so much as like breathed on each other right now. Yeah. So we'll see when the first conflict happens here. Oh heavy lasers. There we go. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> we'll dance around the sun. All right. <laughs> Attacking each other. People are saying they would have picked defense this time. Yeah, I wonder. Defense? Mm. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, ABC's losing some ships here. Just leaving them for dead. Oh! So Sandy has Sandy to be losing careful. four ships yeah. there, though. Sandy got a little aggressive that last match he was in. He's going to have to be careful. Yeah, though, if Sanya is up in the early game, you know that's a bad sign for you because that just means that in the late game you're even more screwed. <laughs> that's true. ABC using the ability. Sanya about to use the ability. Presumably, yep, gets yeah. some extra torpedoes here. Doing a little swap. Oh, no. ABC holding that down. Oh man, one on the moon and one on the port, the torpedo planet over there. Sandy has about to snatch that right up. That didn't. But that just did. did. Had, to, had to backtrack. <laughs> no, yeah. Both players pretty even here. Sandy has slightly more ships, but both fighting desperately for territory here. Both trying to solidify their control over this middle region. Asteroids about to be out. About a minute or so here. I wonder instead of swapping these torpedoes, do you take this like 19 planet here instead of your ABC? Just start cutting off power. Reducing how you how I mean, I think go. you just need to try to eke out any sort of like ship lead while maintaining a good power coverage here. Yeah. Kind of the name of the game. I mean you just uh the asteroids are gonna come soon. So you want to make sure you have power everywhere so you can have the most opportunistic plays with those. That's a good call. The first asteroids have appeared. All right, asteroids are up. Oh. Players rushing over to the other side. There it is. Sanya has a nice fortification of the other asteroid here. ABC is trying to come in and, and get some power here. Sanya is in a good spot with these asteroids right now. Yeah, that looks good. ABC Sanya. trying to crack into this like like blue has no power on this side of that that whole side of the map really. Yeah, if Sandy can that, lock and that building a lead and ABC, you know, when you're kind of desperate, you tend to play more a little more aggressively trying to get somewhere. And I think ABC's been losing some ships Oof. because of that. Yeah, maybe that chat prediction with the, the great upset is is on to something. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Oh, but a ABC is still going to take see. that asteroid. That was a hard fought one. I thought he was yep. going to lose it. You're going to get it. Sanya is not able to break into that. And now things will remain fairly even for a little bit. Oh. Yeah. ABC definitely, you know, it's, it's anyone's game here. Mm -hmm. Sanya does have a ship lead and the ability up, though. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't kick that ability as soon as they had it. 
Yeah, big, big ship armies here going around. Big ship energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I do think ABC's got a chance here, as some people are saying. It's not over yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty damn even. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there they go. Oh, Sanya using the heavy laser. Getting some heavy lasers in their, like their fleet, like though. It. We'll see how Sanya is able to utilize this in these in these big battles. That's good. Start chipping away at the power. Where do they hold the production planets? <laughs> oh, Astro's out there. again. There we go. Can you go one for one again? We'll see. We'll see. ABC's in a good spot to actually contest this one over here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's risky. If you start contesting, you might lose yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's as we're seeing here. I wonder if ABC can cut Sanya out of having power at that, at that asteroid. I don't know. Let's see what it looks Stack. like. Uh, ABC doesn't have power there. So Sanya can yeah, but, but Sanya down. doesn't have power at the at ABC's asteroid either. Yeah. Oh, and ABC's getting the asteroid here. Sanya takes the other one, so yep, even again. I mean, ABC's still slightly behind, but it's anyone's game. Look at this. Now they're about even. Oof. Yeah, Sanya capped at um. Needs some planets here. ABC has the ability though. They can use it on the heavy laser or torpedo. ABC so needs to just. They might not notice. There's a lot of chaos happening right now. Either way, it's a good choice. Ooh, look at those power cuts, though. It's starting to look a little bad. You gotta be careful. Sandy's methodically taking away that power. Uh, here we go. When will ABC use the ability? Sandy's about to get the ability out of it. It's free ships. It's free ships, bro. Ooh, zero planet. Take Maybe they think they're too close to capacity, though. Well, they're close, Maybe. but not. not... Oh, oh, no, the power cuts are not looking good. Oh, That's man. No, good. no, no. ABC's being forced out. Oh, oh. Sandy leaving too early again. Sandy does that sometimes. They move so quickly. They oh, leave massive ones. fight. Both teams suffering losses there. Putting ABC in a worse spot than Sanya. Sanya has the ability up. ABC just used it. Both asteroids are up. Neither are counting. Oh. This is wild. Oh. oh. Sanya doesn't have power to this point defense, though. See, Sanya has power to contest that asteroid. Gonna flip it. It's got it. Yep. Okay, Sanya has both uh, asteroids. Sanya mining both asteroids. ABC is really going to have to heavy. Oh, no, that's... Oh, that was a losing fight. Oh, lost a lot of ships there. ABC in a bad spot. Look at the minimap. Man, and losing more ships. Yes, oh. That was brutal. Sanya coming in just... Oh, leaving too early, though. Having that oh. problem. Yes, wait, with that, if that planet gets taken... That two red planet is the only thing standing, giving Sanya power there. Oh my gosh, he's got to get power. Does ABC see it? Oh, ABC taking it and taking the asteroid. No, leaving too early. Oh, leave it. Oh my goodness. So Sanya got that other asteroid. This asteroid's up. Oh no, now Sanya coming from behind at the exact moment ABC arrived and just shredding through Oof. the blue fleet here. All, all of these ship losses, I feel like, have been over this asteroid where ABC goes yep. in and Sanya's in a like a second half later. second behind. Yeah. Oh, that was it, too. It was that asteroid. It was just that asteroid. Everything oh, up to that moment. Everything up to that moment was tight. Rip, what happened? I think, I mean, I think Sanya has eventually won here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think this was, yeah. Well, it was a good match. They fought. They fought till the. Ah, oh, it's ten minutes in. I mean, that didn't even feel yeah. like it. That was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Holy heck! Are they coming back? I mean, I mean, 
we were headed no, towards I'm on Discord, Discord, but actually. nothing yet. Okay. I mean, I think that was their their concession there. No. Oh, and cheese is coming in to take over. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> Bruh, blue cheese. <laughs> blue cheese <laughs> coming in. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all right. That was a hell of a match. It does ABC, mean that they're yeah. online for their for their match later. That was that was a great match. Both well, like hard fought. It was just the end there where that asteroid just trying to take that asteroid back just lost up all of ABC's ships. And then ABC goes on to tie Panda for three in a row. So the record remains. Yeah, the record remains. But still, that's super impressive. Uh, three in a row is beyond impressive. Yeah, that was such a close match all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like that will do it. Danny, I will be moving on to the finals. When if Exter's name is actually Exter. Exter's name. <laughs> it's definitely possible. I wouldn't surprise All you. right. We've got cheese on the blue team going up against extra on the red team both playing god of conquest here both opting for this power hungry god here that will be able to uh, have moons provide power they'll be able to you know get a lot more uh mileage out of their power i think in, in this map where you know i guess it maybe won't help them reach areas they otherwise couldn't but mainly it just is more density to your power network it makes it harder for your opponent to truly evict you from Which that. Which we saw was really important in the last match. Yeah. Interesting. Getting, I mean, they're prioritizing moving inwards to the center ring and uh, getting those, those planets for power. Yeah, different routes than we saw last time. Yeah, both, I think, going for the torpedo now. Yeah, Cheese leading the way on that. About dead even here. Yeah, no, good fast rollouts from both players here. I mean, we would expect nothing, nothing less here. Yeah, and evidently maybe they were... Well, I don't know if they were training on this map. But they were just battling each other prior to this, so perhaps they've been training. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like cramming for the exam on the day of, right? Yeah. <laughs> Although I, I I, couldn't even count how many times all these top players have battled each other. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a very... Uh, Elite club. Yeah, for sure. Be part of. <laughs> it would be crazy if Nathan is also Nathan's real name. Dude, <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, sometimes I kind of wish I had like a gamer tag that was cool. But it's too late for that now. But... Yeah, dude, you never had any sort of gamer <laughs> I never had one. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. And now to I'm go... screwed forever. Yeah, it's so hard to go to Yeah, you, you can't go back. Yeah, you can't go back to the cool one. But I feel like there's probably some stuff you could do with Steve. Well, the last name, my my regular gamer tag I've had forever since I played games is always fun. But yeah, it's, anyway. Now is gamer. Remember they're is fighting Steve. over those. Yeah, <laughs> no, gamer tag know. is just Steve. Yeah, it's just Steve. <laughs> Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, I wonder why they're fighting so specifically over that, or is it just because I don't of know. power? Power is yeah. What? And I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess. Cheese I, I thought counting their, their ships that there, over there, just counting oh. up. Is cheese? I don't know. No, oh, they have power. I don't, something's so going on here. Going into their Oculus for a sec, they might have. Okay. Well, no. Maybe they, I don't know what they're doing. Oh. Threatening the EMP usage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they both have it, so this will be. 
Maybe they make a gentleman's agreement and don't use it. Oh! No, never mind. Missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you like double EMP it, you could completely lock everyone out of all their ships for a little bit. Yeah. They just use it on their own planet? Maybe they want to lock. Yeah, I don't know. Anticipating I mean, yeah, you, a move? Like, yeah. It does make sure that they can't go to that planet afterwards. That's, so it does. Yeah. it's kind of like a defensive measure, I suppose. But it didn't even look like Extra was close to attacking it. So yeah, it must have been some tactical brain play that I wasn't aware of. Well, they were trading back and forth, right? A couple times. So maybe you just want to lock it down. And this planet with a one so close. They move so fast sometimes. They just tear mm -hmm. early. first asteroids have appeared right where are our asteroid placements okay oh that looks like it's gonna be pretty oh dead, no power there i think it rotated last second it's like uh the edge of the range there still dead even but getting into some real real fights here first asteroids are out let's look at these the positions of those so we got it's pretty dead even. Way, way back on each yeah. side. Okay, that no one is getting each other's here. This is pretty deep in <laughs> yeah. the territory. Now look at the minimap. It's pretty well like one side and one side, you know. Not much cross contamination, if you will. They're doing some great trades, but no real losses. The fleet cap is or fleet Yeah, both playing very size. conservatively. I, I, oh, extra fleeing some ships out. Gotta be careful with that power. Chewing through all the ships there at that planet. Z left at zero. It's gonna be snatched up by the blue team here. A couple trades. Blue cheese is just chewing through these planets. Oh, eggs are hitting hitting blue cheese hard here. Oh. A little ping to themselves. Oh, we have some red ships just floating out in space. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Extra lost some earlier. Uh, Extra suffering here. Blue cheese is up. Jeez. Oh man, Extra is suffering here. Jesus, just uh, Jesus, just been pretty weird. relentless on offense here. Yeah. Oh, asteroid popped up just above them. Unlucky they didn't see it. <laughs> or they will soon. Oh, there it is, yeah. Nabbed uh, it. Where's this other one? Did extra grab his asteroid? Yes. Yeah. All right, so we got a pretty good split. Although, but Jesus, could if battle Jesus for gets this. one of these planets, though, they've got power. Oh, the moon. Oh, the, yep. Oh, the there moon. you go. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that's, canceling that's out. That's good. That's good. Save it for a little later. That one's... And Extra's oh, trying to... I don't think Extra can get that one in the back. It's, he's going to have to fight for this one. Yeah. Oh, man, just trying to maybe get do something there. But now it's just brutal. There's only one focus in this one asteroid. And Cheese has an advantage in the fleet size here. And here he comes. Leaving with. Oh. 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 No. Eggs nice. are hanging on for dear life. Yeah. But doing a good job not to lose a bunch of ships trying to take it. Yeah. Extra playing smart, but oh, it's hard here. Stalling it out, sending the drone back there home. Go. And look at oh, that! Oh, but though. it's coming back. Extra just kind of keeping power, keeping power, trying to push cheese back. Cheese has to take. Oh, I got the, uh, sending yep. that miner home. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, can they cut power there? Okay. Yep. 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 <laughs> Has secured the power. No, but it's a one. Oh, blue's getting oh power from gosh. somewhere. 
Where the oh that oh, planet. Oh, okay, yeah. the way oh, extra. That was a fight. That was a fight for that. Oh, yeah. oh, I oh but ships. I think they're gonna get melted. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> One survived, I think. That was a great battle though, but that's a good good example of how not to get your ships chewed up by trying to hold on to an asteroid. Well played by extra. Yeah. Never fighting uh, uh, the Venn diagram dog. of power. <laughs> yeah. Cheese head. She's, she's doing a nice oh. job of just keeping consistent though, not losing his head. Oh, Ooh, all right. Preventative measures. I think just maybe trying to get lucky and catch Cheese there. This is getting dangerous though. Cheese keeps pushing in this territory. Oh. Oh, extra needs to check out. There's a one planet giving blue power. Oh. Needs to cut off all blue power sources and try to fortify this. Blue is getting the other asteroid. Cheese needs to be very Red careful. Red gets it. Okay. Don't get too excited. No, extra, get, it, get your ships before they. Okay. Extra did not get. Did not lose the ships. Don't leave. Ah. Oh. Leaving too early again. <laughs> Oh, cheese is just trailing extra here. Just have to be very careful if you're cheese. You, you're in the lead. And you just need to maintain. And be careful. Extra's, extra's, extra's too tricky. Fighting for his life. Yeah, you can't let yeah. extra come back. But mess up one time, and extra gets back in. You have to be very careful. Oh, Ooh, no power there for a sec. That was cheese almost suffered, bad. Suffering some losses. Yeah. I think both players are very smart to pick Conquest, reduce the power cutting. Yeah, especially on oh, this map, it makes a lot of sense. Extra losing yeah. some ships as they left there. Now I'm really starting to appreciate the design on this thing. This yeah. thing being this map. I feel like yeah. it's, it's led to a lot of really <laughs> um, intense, like, struggles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah we haven't had a good power cutting map in a while. Yeah, I'd like to see it. But yeah, at this point, oh, I don't even know what the... I guess it's just staying alive. Yeah, I mean, Extra's yeah. name of the game is trying to trade upwards, get the get yeah. the asteroids, not lose. And yeah, Chase exactly. is trying his hardest to, <laughs> to, to, to kill Extra's fleet to the point where... Yeah, chase him down and here. see if you can... Yeah, oh, yeah. Extra suffering. Oh, 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 oh devil. Right. <laughs> I like the devil. I like the devil. It's like, why that not? That was, yeah. No, but you see, he, like, he went away to, like, launch it from afar. Be careful. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're all... Jeez, you're not up that far. I'm taking down the battleships in the void. Battleship's going to die if he's not careful. Oh, they're dead. All right. You don't want to make too many of those mistakes. Extras will capitalize and make you pay. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, it's... It's coming up, it's coming up. Yeah. Z two zero planets that can be flipped instantly here. Oh, but the ships oh, don't make it through. No ships. Where are they? Oh. oh there we <laughs> go. Uh. No, but yeah. Man, uh, not enough production. clawing his way back into this game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what makes Exter so dangerous is can't give him like an inch. You just have to be oppressive the entire game. Extra Otherwise, the kind of guy to not in. be out until he's literally dead. Yeah, I'd never count extra <laughs> out until he's like, you're attacking his home planet. This is a great showing for both players, though. I think we're definitely headed yeah. towards collapse. Uh, like, there's no yeah. way on this one. Man. Unless, unless someone like, yeah, has a huge misplay. <laughs> can always happen. It can always happen. And Exer's gaining more territory here. Another pair of asteroids. Gonna go to one and one here. Gosh, this is this is tight. Damn. Oh man. Hey, you better enjoy oh, this. I don't even know, in. know if it's time oh, for another asteroid. No hits. No hits. I don't. I think so. I think that's it. 
But this is look at this. Look at this. Jeeves has the MP up now. I think there's one more asteroid. It's gonna come out before collapse. I think we'll get one. All right. No. Yeah. Two. Yeah. They do accelerate towards the end. I think. Yeah. But only slightly. Oh, extra Game suffering design. from losses. Cheese is at max fleet capacity. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I think he's just gonna. All this power will not matter in one minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this... I wonder if the best thing to do now is like try and stay alive. Well, I guess Cheese can't build up anymore, so they're just trying to get more oh, fleet capacity goodness. at this point, right? Yeah. Maybe I was wrong about the asteroid. I I swear once they're going to come out of the belt here. Make it one last one. Oh, there they are. There they are. You guys are right. Yeah, no, just barely. Just eke that out. Yeah. Let's see, it looks like it's one on one. Yeah. Yep. Those are so deep in the territory. Yeah. That's going to be hard for either player. Oh my gosh. I'm so far away. All right. And extra is, oh, take it some losses, but it's in the lead now. Slightly, it's about tied, I'd say. But yeah, I, it's basically even now. This is yeah. all right. This is three, really two, one. Here we go. That's it. Oh, man! One of my oldest sound effects. <laughs> Right, here, here we, we go. go. There we go. It's anyone's game. This is gonna get dicey. Heavy laser. Extra is be. down now. Was actually up like 20 seconds ago. Yeah. I'm too busy watching the star Ooh. collapse to be able to figure out what happened. Yeah, I think it's oh, just these big walls. Walls. Oh. trying to <laughs> yeah. maybe hit hit. He's been holding that ability. Yeah, I wonder what he's aiming at. I don't know. Like preventative stuff? He didn't like even go for the planet guess, afterwards. Yeah. He just like... No, no, no. It's in, over case, there and then... in case she's wrapped through there and then he can get a hit. Yeah. No. Just because he gotcha, can't. Gotcha. It's like... You know, just wanna, like... Yeah, don't bother with the heavy laser. They're going into the sun. In the black hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. These poor civilizations, the people who live on these planets are just getting <laughs> absolutely demolished left and right. <laughs> Dang. Not a lot of head on battles, but I get I get why. Well you definitely yeah, don't want to be head on. There's there's so dangerous. much space I think you could definitely yeah. escape any conflict. Getting ready to go in. Oof. Gosh. <laughs> Jeez, so frantically going around, accidentally pinging up the heads. <laughs> nah, dude, it's just a call out. That moon is critical to the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, X are about to lose two production planets, so. Yeah. Well, I guess they're not the production ship. planets, but yeah, two planets. Yeah. No, yeah, well, it's just, well, it's a ship cap, though. Yeah, his cap will be hit. Well, and the product, they don't even have moons, so not hard to call, I wouldn't call them a production planet. Yeah, that's yeah, like, just a planet. <laughs> it's just a planet. Rashid, uh, fleet cap. Uh, mm -hmm. And there they go. All right, yeah. There we go. This is getting... Oh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Would you have taken a couple shots at the oh. planet right there? Extra was right there. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, Cheese hasn't been using the CMP. Extra has been pretty, you know, aggressive with the MP, but Cheese has been waiting for an opportune moment. 
<laughs> I feel like this may come down to home base only. Uh, we'd be in uh, for a long game. <laughs> yeah. We're already pushing 20 minutes. Yeah, those, those bases are real far out there. Yeah. I feel like it may, though. I don't know. There's a lot of dancing. Nobody wants to be the first person to commit. Which I get. I wouldn't either. <laughs> All it's going to take is one slip up. Yeah, exactly. One, one moment where your fleet Ooh. is lacking extra gets hit there it's not enough but that's dangerously close but this shows you the power of conquest on this map though because the power cutoffs were a lot less uh, brutal because of all the moons mm. She's going down on ships here, though. Yeah, they've got to be very careful. I know they were trying to snag those planets, but... We've had some great matches this tournament, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Extra still has, like, the decent... Plan of potential. Oh, well, as I say that. <laughs> Jesus capped. Egg still has room. Jesus capped. <laughs> yeah. See, obviously, this is where destruction would come into play, yeah. right? You, you shut down their fleet capacity at this stage of the game. You can uh, gain an advantage in the long run. <laughs> oh oh no the emp it's a little oh oh okay this could be oh. scary cheese could be low yeah but they took out a lot there. of the turrets there yeah yeah i if i if i'm cheese i'd be very careful because egg could just come around and just poke at you a little bit and make you yeah mess i up. mean like eggster has a very slight advantage in ships it could be enough to just hold that home base yeah, well, look at all those planets. Look at all the red planets out there. This yeah. All Eggsters. Oh, be but... Very careful. All going oh. back the other way. Yeah, be very careful, Cheese. Especially at this stage. You want to give Eggster any slip-up. Another gummy. Ooh, I don't know. A bunch of plants about there to just get go. absolutely so, uh, eaten yeah. right now. Excuse me. It was done. What is that going to leave us with? Just like two? Four planets out there. The remnants of the outer ring. Yeah. The inner ring is about to be completely gone. There it goes. That's no, it. the inner ring. Or map. It's been so long forming, it's just getting shattered. <laughs> Man! Ooh, oh, that was oh it! Oh, God. that was it! And Angster oh, descends geez. on cheese! And oh, <laughs> oh, that's you could never give wow. extra that chance. Never give extra in. Oh. Dang, what a match. Dang. All of that what over a match. In a that is the brutal wow. Brutal nature of these high level matches is one mistake. One mistake <laughs> is all it takes. <laughs> Holy wow. heck. These guys are too good. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty. We'll be right back with the second no shame in that. Jeez, match. No shame in that. That was an excellent match. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Hmm. No, no, no. He's played Conquest last game. Oh. Nick and Oh, Nick yeah. on Vault. Okay. Yeah. There we go.
Nick yeah. up on the blue team as volatility going up against extra on the red team as conquest here. <clears throat> we'll see what prevails. Oh, do you see that? So extra just went two moons straight into point defense. Yeah, I mean, if you're conquest, you don't even have to take the planets because yeah. the moons. I feel like on this map give similar range to the planets. Yeah, they do. That's a nice rollout, though. We haven't seen that yet. All right. Yeah, we'll see if it uh, pays off here in the early game. Nick and Hope, you know, expanding. Taking two planets in the point defense. Doing some very good micro here. Only loses one ship here. Oh, I thought oh. Xer was going to sneak in. I thought he was... I don't know if Xer was actually ready to capitalize there. I thought he might yeah. have been able to contest, but it looks like no. That was... Would have been a risky play, but interesting. Kind of each other feeling each other out now where they're going. Oh, coming in just to kill three turrets. Lose, lose lost some ships actually. I saw those souls flying back home. Is he picking at the sun? Oh no. Oh, Nick and Up's army powered up by that ship. Not actually, but you know, psychologically, of course. <laughs> Look at that extra coming a little early. He definitely didn't have this er these early clashes in the last match. <clears throat> yeah, last match was more of a mirror. I feel like that was like yeah. a very drawn out conservative battle. Maybe extra trying to close this out quickly this time. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. And with the power advantage from Conquest, might be able to do some tricky bits. Oh. Still a minute and a half from the asteroids. But it's definitely something to keep in mind here. When these asteroids come out, these players want to have as much power as possible. That way they can, uh, you know, have the best chance of getting good asteroids. Xer's going to take both these torpedoes. Yeah, they're going back and forth on them. <clears throat> I feel like no, I, I wouldn't be underestimating these moons, too. Yeah, and I'd almost... Oh, oh yep, hitting, was... the, hitting the ships in transit. That is going to get him on the torpedo, but you know, not a bad placement. Pretty even. Yeah. Man, Nikonov has more territory. I, I just see that extra is fighting back. But Dastards are about to be out. I'm looking at the power coverage. It looks like that it's distributed in a way I can imagine these going one and one really easily. The first asteroids yeah. have appeared. Let's see where they are. Uh, I do not see them. Until I'll see one. behind you. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one there, and that means, yep, there's one. So, oh, yeah, okay. very by the home planet. Yeah, very mm. much so. <clears throat> so. Those should be easy to lock down as a one on one.
flashing back and forth over these planets. First asteroid gets mined though. Not sure. Okay, it was blue. Both teams have their asteroids now. Extra falling slightly behind here. This will happen last game, except to a more extreme degree. The blue definitely has an advantage right now. Oh, oh that was a nice hit. It Can he capitalize? Can he cap? No. Uh... <clears throat> I almost think the EMP is better for almost like, uh, you know, there's moments where you need to force a, the enemy team to retreat, you know, rather than I'm trying to get some kills. It's like, mm. I, I, like force the enemy team not to be somewhere so I can yeah. get a planet. Yeah, that's a good call. Ooh, uh, oh, I like that by extra. Come in, sneak in behind. Didn't pay off a ton, but it was a good play. And extra getting chewed up by some of those turrets there for not having power. Nick and Hope doing a good job at fortifying the power here. Extra is looking at the minimap, kind of sparse on power here. Needs to make sure they have moons and planets in this inner ring. Yeah, he's got to be careful. He lost all those moons he held earlier. Yeah. And now this asteroid is in jeopardy unless he can sweep up all these planets here. But here comes Nick. I like that. Oh, extra just leaving a little too early again. And the other asteroid isn't even in um, extra's power range here. This could be bad. Nick could get both these asteroids if extra's not careful. They're doing a bunch of power cutting here. I think he's got power now. This is going to be tight, though. No, and he's... He's got to be careful, because Nick is going to come in with force. I don't know if you sit there for a minute and chew through. This is yeah, tough. Now, Nick really solidifying the power to this asteroid here by taking all those planets. Eggster not working with a lot of ships here. Oh, he's out of power. No power either. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> He's got to come back. Yeah. Last, I feel like last oh. time Exter snatched an asteroid that he wasn't supposed to. We'll see if he can pull it off again in this game. Oh, nice, oh, EMP. nice. There you go. Buying some time here. That may be enough. That may be enough to Man. steal it. Will it be oh. enough? Oh. I think he's got it. Oh, that's that was so close. Oh Extra my goodness, takes that was it. Close. But it's gonna be delivered oh, no, to a planet. Get absolutely die. chewed. I don't know if any made out over there. I doubt it, but maybe they took out some nicking up ships on the way out. Next pair of asteroids should be out too. Extra's gotta remember to take those moons. But Extra kind of came back though off that play. Yep. Definitely could have been way more disastrous if he, if Nick got that asteroid. All right. A asteroids are out and they're a little more in contention this time. This might not be good. Extra's power is very limited. He's got to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Asteroids out very deep in red territory, but you know, you never know how, how deep your opponent's going to try to push into your territory to get that. You know, the best way to kind of making sure your opponent does, doesn't do that is to can be to take, you know, put on a good offense and apply pressure to their planet. So that way they don't have, you know, the, the time and energy to like start, you know, trying to take your asteroid oh. is if you threaten their asteroid, basically. Right, there it goes. A Extra, Extra gets the delivery. His. And Nick Nook gets his, so a little too tight to battle over those. Yeah, but Extra doing a great job expanding territory here. Notice going deep into blue territory, getting some planets here. Yeah, you can see it's expanding. Could benefit for some some moons for sure. Moons are easier to take than planets. Oh, prevent a little. There you go, Jack. A little preventative measure. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
I expected there to be more losses there. That, yeah, extra got out of there, luckily. Or, <laughs> like, depends on who you're rooting for. That's yeah, for he sure. was. I'm trying to think of like he got out of there without taking a lot of casualties, which is lucky for him because that could have been very yeah. dangerous. Very dangerous. But the power, look at this power, Rick. Yeah. Nick Nova is back down. in. Yeah. I mean, Extra's been, you know, at best kind of tied. And yeah, at worst, has been down, at, you know, a fair amount. This is so we'll scary, see though. if Nick and Oak's able to close this out, or if if, if Extra's there, you know, going to be able to make another comeback here and make the game go really long. Oh, we got that power cut, man. So Nick was pushing back very far. He was getting a lot of power. Yeah. All right. Extra just mined that one. Nick will probably grab this one, so another split of asteroids. Power is about yep. even again. Oh, extra taking losses there. Man. Just when it was about even. Nick and up coming in with a good offense. Too early. Grabbing it now. Man. Extra is like it's like an arm wrestle, and Extra's just got like always like fighting on the brink. <laughs> no, that not as much smash, but it's like what's that guy on the arm hustling. wrestling guy that lets people get all the way down like he's gonna lose? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. That's Oh, another round of asteroids. Okay, so we're pushing an interesting time. Nick and Oak just snatched a ton of territory there. Yeah, really dominant control yeah, over this whole side power. of the map. Well, extra, the power's dead, about dead even, though, with thanks to those moons. Yeah, I mean, Nick and Oak doesn't have the benefits of conquest here. Yeah. This is anyone's game. We're definitely head towards collapse. <laughs> Second yeah, man, poor egg. Asteroids. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. 40 minutes of nonstop battling. Nonstop battling. <laughs> yeah, you're exhausted after this. Mentally and physically. Nick Nope hasn't used the ability a single time this game. <laughs> you know, to be fair, I think it is like worse when you're moving around so much like this, you know? It's yeah. like the missiles are it's hard for them to to connect. Like you could use it and camp out on something, but yeah. <laughs> Man. Ooh. Oh, extra gets chewed through there by Nick and Up's massive army. Extra's got to watch out. Oh. Nick and Up's seen the routes. Yeah. Nick and Up's made some good predictive plays here, cutting extra off. Yeah. Delivering some pretty uh, heavy damage. But collapse is coming. Well, that's not so great for Eggster, I think. <laughs> yeah. Eggster has ability up. We'll see if something fun can be done with that. All right, he just took that. Okay. So, is there enough time of the collapse? No, this asteroid. These asteroids are going to be the last one, so. Yep. Do you push in? Do you try to steal that asteroid from Nick Nope with your Eggster? Do you let it go? I mean, I don't think Eggster is stealing anything once there's no power shenanigans. You never know, man. 
Oh. Ah, uh, extra just not having uh, enough ships, I think, here. Just not enough ships, yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that's... Gained a bit of something. Next army is disoriented here, though. Yeah, but he's disoriented. Just take it. Oh, but that yeah. is gonna do it here. It looks like so many ships here. That's hard. That's a hard battle. That's basically yeah. That yeah. was twenty minutes of non-stop battling. <laughs> yeah, but in the end, Nick and Oak just was able minutes, to. Yeah. You know, the whole point of map clock is to, you know, basically, you know, effectively like let the person with the most ships win, and, you know. Nick, Nick's been up ships the whole game, has been doing a great job oh. of maintaining that. <laughs> Red team has regained yeah. control nice. of their home base. <laughs> Eggs are out of jail, get out of jail free card there though, but I don't think that'll be Red enough. Has lost control of their home base. <laughs> Unless he sneaks over and attacks Blue's base. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I just camped the home base <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Red team has lost control of their home base. And there will be no EMP this time. Yeah. GG's, GG's. Yeah. And that will do All it. Right. Nick and Ope will be going to the finals here. Substantial. All right. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Cosmic Harvester. I heard that one was like maybe the hardest for some people to get. I mean, including really? Phoenix, which like... And people don't play on that many hardest star maps. Mm. <laughs> and you can only harvest one star per map. Yeah. Oh wait, that's... No, yeah, that's Harvester, moons. not Harvester. That's Moons. Right? Okay, yeah. that one's... No, never mind. What's the what's the, what's the the hardest star one called? You know what? Cosmic know. Harnesser, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it kind of looked like it was the same thing. Uh, harnesser. Nice. I like this. Oh, this is the dragon. This is cool. Right, dragon yeah. and yeah. I like that one. Well, and sunburst and something and else. Yeah. Olympian. It's a and, combo. Yeah. Wombo right. combo. That was my favorite thing. I I used to love hitting the randomize and just that would that would come up with some crazy outfits. bunk ass outfits. You think this? Is a... <laughs> oh, you get some cool outfits. I loved it. All right, hold on. Let me let me refocus here. Yeah, good standard rollouts though. Yeah, I'm eating my gummy rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. Neither goldfish nor cheese it. <laughs> Here, we'll go follow a player for a bit. Oh, that's an early exchange. Oh. I like it. We haven't seen very many of those. Clutches. <laughs> oh, ABC extra I think went home. home to gather some ships here. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, extra no power. Be careful. I think they're both just messing around right now. Extra locking in that power. ABC building an advantage already. So, and about to have the God ability up to spawn some more extra ships. So we'll see if ABC waits to use that on a heavy laser. Let's watch ABC. I, I think they might use, use the ability. I'm curious to see where they decide to drop that. Oh, here they go. As predicted, going for the heavy laser. Oh, and, oh I like oh. it. I like it. That was smart. <laughs> Extra knows it wanted to keep them off that ability Ooh, usage so. there. 
Ooh. Looked like he was out, ABC was out of power for a minute. There. Oh, but ABC really wants this planet. Extra knows it. Oh, it's at zero. Now they can use it. Oh, he's he got the ships. Yep. <clears throat> yep. It's really hard to keep a production player off the, off a planet. Yeah. Because they just need to own the planet for like half a second, and then it's <laughs> and then they've got it. Yeah, this has been a fun map though. I've really enjoyed it and I encourage other tournament players to make a tournament map if they want for next time. Yeah. Oh, Extra's specialty is fighting from behind here, so this is actually a very comfortable position for him to be in. <laughs> Extra going on a long conquest there through the back side of the map here. Yeah, that's a lot. Doesn't have great power, nor does he have great amounts of ships, but I'm, he's making it work. Right, Asteroids so asteroid. out. Ooh, By the home planet, yeah. right underneath the home planet. Yeah. Probably go one to one. Yep. Extra has the ability up again. Oh, looking to oh, use. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Doing a no, point shot there. No hits, no hits. It's from downtown, though. Let's see. Oh, both asteroids being mined at the exact same time. Bring those. <laughs> Battleships home. Oh no! Excellent. One of the Cygnus battleships. Thanks for pulling it into the void. Will he see it? Will he be able to collect the bug up there? Oh! 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 Grabs it. Now let's go. Okay. Needed that. Too fast to get that moon though, which he probably would have liked to have got. Oh! Big attack on its point Oof. defense. ABC losing some ships there. Yeah. But Using production ability yeah, again. Smart. Extra, you know, still in here, still in here. Yeah. <laughs> ABC. Gathering all the troops from the back lines and now going on the offensive here. Asteroids come out again. Like start snatching his up very quickly. Ooh, getting both. All right. A little risky, but I like it. And we'll see how, how these asteroids fare here. Well, that's his own. I think extra will stop power there, even if yep, he does. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the key is like keeping your opponents off these asteroids via power chain again. It's yeah. important here. Extra so th this will be oh. Oh. Yeah, EMP so usage. Can extra cut enough power here to add enough time delay so that ABC cannot get the asteroid? We'll see. Extra no longer has power to that asteroid back there. That's it's a rough spot to be, especially because it's so close to being mined. Not good. I thought he was going to get both. This this may go the other way. Oh, it does. Oh, oh that's tough. ABC getting one asteroid. I think Will ABC get the other? Put, putting an extra in a disastrous spot here. Trying to chew through all these ships. Oh no, here comes the rest of ABC's army. Chasing extra to that planet. 
Can extra hold out? Oh, this is gonna be tough. ABC snuck that. I didn't think he was gonna get that far asteroid. I think extra just conceding the asteroid yeah. now, trying to focus on taking over other territory. I know that's hard to do, but that's actually so smart. So we've seen so many players lose all their ships trying to get a last ditch effort on uh -huh. asteroid and then losing the game. Yeah, pa patience and knowing when to, you know, call off your attacks is super important. Yeah. Knowing when to just cut your losses, be like, can't, I'm not gonna, not gonna throw everything I've got at that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, while, while neither of the outcomes are good, you're more likely to win if you don't just like lose straight <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, right exactly. Extra looking to get another asteroid here with the third wave. Extra's making really smart power at plays, though. Keeping power, keeping his range up. Oh, oh, EMP oh. stuff. Oh. Catching those <laughs> ships for a moment there. Probably getting some free kills. Oh, ABC ran this EMP ships into some turrets there. This is why you can't count out extra. He's, he's a dangerous player. ABC has to be very careful. 100%. Oh, blue asteroid delivered there. Right. You see him join some music as he travels around. <laughs> oh, no power. He's chasing the extra now, though. Yeah, extras built back the, yeah. their ships here. Oh, more Ooh. power shenanigans. Oh, man. ABC has, like, no power anywhere. ABC's losing power. He's got, yeah. Start back. Oh, that's a lucky placement for those asteroids. We'll see you extra. Just <laughs> Players just darting around here. ABC has next uh, production ability ready. Man, extra has really good power spread. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic power spread mm -hmm. on a map like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, when it gets chaotic in your conquest, you usually have a moon here and there, and you know, a planet, and like, it's. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can go places without getting yeah. screwed yeah. over. So we've seen ABC being hit hard with these power restrictions. You know, trying to dive yeah. between planets, not having power, getting impede. You know, a lot. Extra's really been playing with the power here on this map. And Extra has the EMP up again, so he could lure in ABC if he's not if ABC's not careful. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. No, I don't think shots getting fired in time. No, I think that yeah, I think ABC yeah. is aware. That was a very good part on by ABC. Yeah. But still oh. definitely a bit of a setback, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those troops running. ABC's got a lot of power coverage. He's okay, he's in a good spot. Kinda clawed his way back in. Yeah. All right. Looks like we're going to be headed towards map collapse again. Yeah. I mean, Eggster's Poor egg. <laughs> never been leading no. this match, but he's never been losing too much. Yeah. So. But again, the importance of knowing when to give up on an asteroid, because look, he's able to yeah. stay alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mixer's been able to survive so Still, well. Oh, no, he's um, out of power. Yeah. He's got to watch it. Holy heck. We can go back and snag that planet and that moon, though. That's a pretty good position because it's kind of far out of the way for ABC. And it cuts ABC's power to that asteroid. I think I'd take it if I'm egg. Oh, yeah. 
Take that planet. Another thing though is there. sometimes like leaving enemy planets really weak so that they come in and then you instantly take the planet. Yeah. And then like there is merit to having like enemy planets with low turret counts because you know you can instantly go over there and convert it. You know, and potentially blow yeah. it and out. Yeah, that's one thing I've never I've never been good at. Those these guys are so good at that type of thing though. At the same time though, I guess if you have it the longer you have it for, of course, the more potential ships you could get out of it but i mean with the turnaround that these planets yeah. get you might as well just try and like force them to split their focus by taking over a bunch in quick succession right instead yeah, of yeah. like churning yeah with how fast these these top players move and trade it's hard <laughs> yeah it's sort of a wonder that ships get produced at all but i guess yeah. it's <laughs> is always doing that <laughs> you know? exactly oh Yeah, I don't even. Is it neon wafers? I feel like Angstrom's been losing some power though. The noticing him, him come to our planet doesn't have power. Starting yeah, to face some issues here. Yeah. Lost some of these ships uh, yeah, too. And it's right but as collapses on the. Uh oh. Yeah. Collapse is coming. Might not yeah, be good. Like, yeah. Can Extra make a ship come back in time for collapse? I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose any more ships at all. Maybe focus on grabbing some moons within his power range and. Yeah, I think he mainly just wants to make sure his ship cap potential is high so that he can build yeah. it up, but it's kind of losing territory now. Oh! Oh, sorry. It's not going to oh. taken. It's not going well, to collapse first, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the time's off. Yeah, I think it's, it's actually, funnily enough, he won't have enough time. Yeah. Just to bait. Yeah. I think it will. I mean, I've never tested this case, but it'll probably stop the timer. If not, we'll end up with some. Funny directions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, GG, yeah. GG. <laughs> Look at this. Both players are in good spots, though. This yeah, no, I guess they managed really to uh, keep his ship count pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I would... All right. There we go. Power everywhere. Oh, ABC coming for the home. That is Skipping it. the home here. Oh, runs has oh. run for me. That's not a bad choice, though. It's not a bad choice. No, extra attacking yeah. the home. <laughs> right back at you. Yeah. Like, this is not. Oh, but ABC is coming back. Ooh, it's not a bad idea by ABC Red though. Team. Camping the home here. Can Extra do something? Red team has okay. Of their home base. Oh, getting Red some bonus ships and then just camping. Their home base. Let's see. Let's watch what Extra does here. I mean, this is also good for Extra because he can swing around, attack these planets, and then loop back in that home well, base. Like, what are you hoping up. to produce? Like one or two ships? Like here? I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like yeah. You know, the... But it, it just has to go in. Yeah, you've got to take nine it seconds. Yeah, oh, you man. can't move away. You've got to go all full in. Those oh, battleships, much, yeah. oh, that giant battleship. Oh my gosh, look at that. It. That is brutal. And ABC will get yeah. third place in the tournament, sending Eggster to fourth place. Awesome, Oof. awesome game. An impressive showing for everyone. Yeah. Thank you, everyone who participated in the tournament. It was always Jeez. it's always a good time um, to see Gog at the highest Rip level. Play. Yeah, these players yeah. are so good. Every match was great. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, yeah. It was all good. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Well, uh, we'll follow up with the, the leaderboard, and you know Nathan will make sure that you guys get your uh, well-deserved cosmetics and stuff for this tournament. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. It was good. Yeah. With that, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their weekend. Heck yeah. All right. So long, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Welcome to the finals. We've got Nick and Ope as volatility on the blue team going up against Sanya as production on the red team. May the best God win.
And now Nick Nope's facing the same situation as Exter last time with another long game behind him. So. Yes. Yeah. Tough. Sandia well, repping least, Tournament yeah. 8 title. Yeah. Been around for <laughs> a long time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Is that his oldest one? Uh, I mean. I think so, yeah. Surely it. I honestly have no way of knowing. I think that's his oldest one. I think that's the first one he won. Fair enough, yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, you don't even have a title for uh, ones you can win. And Nick Nope won but right before ABC did. He did a back to back wins right before ABC went on this three peat. So. Yeah. He also has had a good streak. Yeah. So yeah, we may be trying to start a new streak this tournament. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. But all these last matches, tournament winners. Multiple winners, by the way. Yeah. Times. Oh, look at this little... Sandy focusing on the outer ring before coming inside. So he is biding time there for a second. Now he's going in, snatching up some of these moons here. I like the strategy, though. Got to prepare for those asteroids. <laughs> oh. Sanya had a better better early game so far, at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Able to pull ahead in ships. All right, abilities are also coming up. I know, production ability going to be... Nick, you know, I don't remember him using the ability last time. So, you know, yeah. Sanya is going to be... Uh, Pumping in some ships here. Sandia already building a powerful lead. And it's for f only three minutes in here. Yeah, and just holding down those torpedoes. I almost wonder if he wants to leave one and just met, like, trick Nick into sending troops into Doom. Nick has to be careful. <laughs> Nick yeah. has a lot of territory, but less ships here. So we'll see how Sanya is able to convert these ships into some some good territory, especially like, you know, steering down the first asteroids in, in about a minute here. No conquest shenanigans either this match. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, true. Yeah. So all the power cutoffs will be... Raw and brutal, yeah. Oh, Sanya pulling firmly <laughs> ahead here. Be curious to see how these first asteroids go. Nick needs to be very careful with these exchanges. Yeah, <laughs> any further loss in ships could be devastating here for Blue. Oh, where are they? Let's see right. these. <laughs> Don't be the money. Pretty square okay. in each other's territory. Although, Sanja could push in maybe off of that planet. I don't know. I don't think so. Let's it's see. pretty far. Let's see what his power looks like. Yeah, it's this is up. what Nick needed. <clears throat> Just not to get steamrolled at the first asteroids. Still not enough power. So these should split evenly. Yep, both getting their mm -hmm. asteroids delivered right back to their home base. Oh my <laughs> gosh, look at all those ships though. 
Yeah, Sanya building a very big army here. Nikinop's army, though, has explosive uh, shots every three hits. So, you know, that might sh be able to chew through Sanya's forces in a... Could get a good breakaway here. But, you know, mainly you're looking for an opportunity to come in from behind <laughs> while your enemy just arrived. I think this is one of the... Two first three hits, so that was good. What are we? Yeah, what information we did? <laughs> yeah, no, it's messing. Boss, if it was every three, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this is one of those things where if I'm Sanya, I'm gonna trade one of these torpedoes and then just leave my troops on the second one instead of moving them. Is it every seven, make... Nathan? Yeah, it's every seven, I think. Okay. It's a nice round number. Well. Seven is not <laughs> a nice round. <laughs> nice, exact opposite nice, of a round uh, number. Nice non-round number. It feels, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Nick and Ope, Anyways. on the back foot here, needs to pull an extra level comeback here. This is tough. This is tough. Sanya can make some tricky plays here and risk it. Oh man. And now Sanya okay. going for Nick's asteroid here. Okay. Opting, trying to take both of them here. Has enough ships to do it. He's got the ships to lock them both down. This is dangerous for Nick. Yeah, can Nick pull enough power cutting shenanigans to keep Sanya off his asteroid? And if I'm Sanya, I'm gonna camp that asteroid too. Yeah, Nick's sending a lot of Oh, Nick oh, doing the smart one. thing, though. Um, drying him out. Yeah, playing offense, too, to distract from... Sam is going to have to take both asteroids now and rotate around. Where this does is... Sanya have power to that asteroid from? I, I don't even know. Oh, that's oh, right there. Well, oh. <laughs> okay. Turned slightly to the left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. And... Cameraman, do you... Sanya is going to get the first destroyed here. Can he get it? No, nope, I don't think he can get it. Oh, he can't man. get there. There's no power. Oh, my goodness. Nick gets it. I didn't even lose a lot to get it either. That was lucky. Yeah, will it be enough, though? I don't know. Sanya can start. Oh, Sanya doing a toss. I like it. A little toss action. <laughs> The way Gog was meant to be played. You throw your <laughs> ships. <laughs> Man, Sanya just trailed Nick so hard through those three planets. Killing a ton of blue ships here. I mean, do you push in and just take the home planet at this point? I think you could, right? Like, you just. If you have power. I think the Sun, it would be a good. Good game. Yeah. That's yeah, good. at this stage, yeah, I think might that might well. be a good spot because oh, got throwing good... accidentally throwing some dude. Now he hasn't been accident. He's been doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, he's been doing it on purpose yeah. the last couple of times. I'm, I've been pretty surprised. I haven't seen that in a long time. It makes sense though, right? Like you know, you got enough ships to to take yeah. it, so you can focus on other stuff while you let your ships do the work outside. Okay. That's some smart multitasking. We got both asteroids locked in. For Sanya, this is not looking good for Nick. Yeah, Sanya has just shown a lot of dominance here in the mid to late game. Oh, and they're both going. Yep. All right. Take the sun. I'm taking it. I think you building a giant lead here. Actually, at absolute maximum, that asteroid did not even spawn any ships. Yeah, just take the sun, open up the power, and then I think that's all over. Oh, big chunks of territory lost for blue here. What's the power look like for Sanya on the home base? Are you waiting for something? I don't know what he's doing. He's waiting. jamming oh, out he all the no way power. across yeah. the across the solar system here. No, it's gonna be power. I'm not that straight power. 
All right, here we go. Oh, they're on power. Oh, that's. A All right. Oh, here they go. The ship's going in. Not quite enough. Oh. Another wave. Oh. And all the shield ships know. <laughs> that was a good, good match. Good match. That was a really good match. And it looks like Dan, yeah, will be taking the dub for Tournament 36 here over some really awesome other players. Yeah. Fought long, long and hard through a big bracket to make it here and uh, take the yeah, tournament. Yeah, full tournament. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it was 60. Over, we had a waiting list, people, this time, which has been. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Still good. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. W for the crux here. Yeah. Congratulations, Sanya. Awesome mm -hmm. to see the tournament eight thing as well. It's a reminder how long yeah. we've been uh, running these things for. Um,